anime history has been saved, and it's kind of something we, we thought we saw coming, but for those who don't know, let's take a quick dive into it. For those who don't know, Tokyo Laboratory was going out of business. They started in 1955. They did a lot of things from like, ah, uh, my goddess, to stuff with Ghibli, like My Neighbor Totoro, Natsuko to the Valley of the Wind, big named items. Well, let's take a dive at the article that Anime News Network did. So apparently Toho Archive ended up picking up all these films, which would have been kind of stupid considering they're the parent company if they didn't pick it up. But it's amazing that they actually prevented a lot of older films from being thrown out. Basically, Toho stepped up and said, we need to save anime history. And they dived in. They saved so many of the works they had a hand in. So many works that Ghibli had a hand in. So many different impactful things from Akira to Magical Ray Earth to like a bunch of different things that you would know if you hear the name. So thanks to them, they're picking up all these stuff. And but since Toho Archive's picking them up, a lot of the things that did not get reprints could possibly end up getting reprints now. The fact that they saved 67 years worth of master copies allows a lot of future things to happen within the next couple years. I would love to see some reprints coming out. I would love to see that they bring back older IPs for, you know, people to get back into or maybe pick up and add to their collection instead of paying hundreds of dollars for these one runoff prints, you know? The big thing here is they're pushing towards digital cinema packages and they're trying to convert everything into digital so nothing gets lost. So those one-off OVAs or those one-off movies that, you know, only had a run of like one time and not a lot of people bought, but still kind of like a cult classic, they're trying to push for it to be saved permanently in these digital archives and to preserve the master copies and save everything so future generations can watch it, people can appreciate it, people can learn from it, learn art styles. They're trying to save history as best as they can and this is a big major step in doing that. Especially for Toho Archive, this adds on a lot of things to put in said archive. It's a very good, very noteworthy thing that just happened. Now, for those who don't know, we're gonna do another, I wanna do a dive into what they're actually taking in and what they're actually saving i listed off a couple things like my neighbor totoro magical ray earth oh my goddess but let's actually dive in i did another video on this when it originally it was announced and no one was talking about it just like this right now as of december 1st no one has talked about it. this is the only thing i've heard about it and i want to spread the news i want to spread awareness that there are people that actually still care about history and preserving history and this is a major step in doing so. So they've done a bunch of things, including King Kong versus Godzilla, which is what a lot of people love Tokyo Laboratories for, especially the guy, the, the diehard Godzilla fans. But like I said, there's, oh my God, it's the movie. There's Astro Boy. There is Car Captor Sakura and Clear Card. So the original Sakura and then the, the remake. You have Clamp, you have Crayon Shin-Chan, that's including all the movies, the regular TV show, the F-Zero show they did based off the video game, they have Hamtaro, the OVAs in here, you have Gonna Be an Angel again, you got Little Nemo, you got Lupin the Third, Dead Alive, and Farewell to no Notre Dame, which are two great fantastic movies, which I highly, highly recommend you go watch. You got Himi-Chan's Ribbon, you got more Lupin, I think they did pretty much all the Lupin movies up to a certain point. And you got Ava, Ava is a big one. They were gonna throw out the master copies of Ava. You have Romna one half, you have Sonic X, you got the Snow Queen, you got the Legend of Zoro, you have Tokyo Mew Mew, you got Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! They did Yu-Gi-Oh! And they were just gonna throw them out. That, and that's not to mention the little things, like Super Doll Lilica Chan. You have oh, the wonderful War Wizard of Oz. I forgot they did that. They translated the Japanese. You got Magical Angel Sweet Mint. You got Persia. Persia. I guess I said that wrong. The Magical Fairy. You got these little things that people probably have never heard of, but are probably pinnacle to certain people. It's just, it blew my mind when they originally announced it, that no one would save it. But now that I know that there's a people going out of the way to archive, transfer them to digital, do a bunch of things, it's it's peak and it's important. And this needs to be done for other things too, like video game history. There's a lot of things that were lost, like cells and a bunch of... This is a whole different conversation for another time. It just makes me happy that they went out of the way to actually go and do this preservation. So, 
don't you worry there's probably going to be a bunch of good things and a big push for all these things maybe there's going to be a bunch of loop and reprints that would be amazing if they can just push out loop in the third again and get a bunch of the movies out there that'd be fantastic so let me know what you guys think about this news i think it was very important that it be discussed and touched upon because it's anime history anime affects all of us especially nowadays with it being very popular new people need to know about the old stuff and how everything got to this point let me know what you guys think down below and i'll see you all later bye